Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing what I call the Dismantled Galaxy. This is a client piece and we're going to be using some beautiful blues and getting a nice little purplish pinkish thing going on here. But let's enjoy the intro first. <music> by 20 these are well I'm gonna be using two 20 by 20 canvases today these are artist loft level 3 gallery wrapped canvases I am just taking some jumbo thumbtacks that I got from Amazon and I am putting them in the back of the canvas it's also taped on the back already using some painters tape that I get from the Dollar Tree um, these thumbtacks are actually just going to lift the painting so that um, paint won't get on the sides and it gets stuck to this tarp that I have down so canvas looks like this it is 20 by 20 so it is equally measured how what is it measurements or dimensions are equal all the way across so it's a perfect square perfect square and I'm doing two of them today this is a client piece so I am doing a method that I have coined as the reverse Dutch pour method um, I don't put the base down completely on the canvas um, I'm going in with some black because that's gonna be one of my base colors and I'm just using a condiment bottle that I got from Dollar Tree and this is black paint in it from artist loft and I'm just outlining where I want that paint to be or uh, the base paint to be and I'm just going to pour that in there now and then blow it out.
so now I'm gonna go in with my colors I already put down light blue I did not know my camera was not um, recording I next go in with brilliant blue and then I'm going to put down some Payne's gray and magenta and then I'm gonna go in with some gold as well so I know you guys noticed I have not put my base for my white down and that's where I get the term reverse rev sorry the term reverse Dutch pour because normally I'll go in with my colors first and I'll surround it with the colors or I'm sorry surround it with the base instead of putting my base down and this just makes sure I don't have too much paint on my canvas if there's too much paint on the canvas while it's drying the paint will move too much while it's drying and it won't look like what you created so you do want to keep that in mind
Alright, so I'm just doing a little bit of blowing. Um, is it? I'm gonna say manually because I don't want to say the other word because I don't like how it sounds. So I'm doing some manual blowing with my mouth. Um, and then I'm gonna take you guys down so that you can see what it looks like. I really love this. I like how the magenta and the blues mix with the paint gray. And um, I hope you guys love it as well. I told you guys I'm going to get better at uploading YouTube videos and that's what I'm doing. Look at me. Look at me. This is the second video in seven days. Be proud because I am. <sighs> I really love how this turned out and I sent a picture to the client already and she absolutely loves it. See you guys next time. Mwah.